I got rid of the small little rocks. This is the finish line right over here, guys. And some more steps. Number two is surpassing number one. My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it. Stay wildin'. What's up, my wild and people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. Oh, hey guys, take a look at all these beautiful fish. Hey, look at the bass right there. He's ready to eat. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for tuning in on today's episode. On today's episode, I'm going to give you guys an update as to how the tortoises are doing in tortoise paradise. Guys, disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. I want to thank you guys for commenting below and letting me know that the little rocks I chose to put in my tortoise enclosure weren't the best options because the tortoise is on vacation. They get hungry. They may see the little rocks as an all-you-can-eat buffet. And they may try to eat them and get impacted. And that's a no-no. Same goes with fake plants. So guys, immediately after, I updated the whole turtle enclosure. And I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like now. And apart from that, I have a surprise for you guys. So enough of me talking. Let's go take a look at the tortoises. Let's get it. All right, guys. Here we are. Tortoise paradise. Yeah, yeah. Ooh la la. Take a look at these tortoises. Enjoying tortoise paradise. How's this guy doing? Oh, he's doing amazing. Okay. What's up? What's up, little buddy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, take a, take a look at that stretch of the neck. All right, he's doing well. Let's see if this guy's doing well, too. You got something? To, ooh, that's the wrong side. There we go. What's up? You guys say you want to come out and play? I guess not. He's like, put me down or else. All right, doesn't want to come out and say hi. Oh, look at him. Okay, looks like he's done sunbathing. May want to go back inside his house. Like I mentioned before, guys, I did do some updates on Tortoise Paradise. One of those main updates were I got rid of the small little rocks. I, while the rocks, like I mentioned before, did look beautiful, we would care about the safety of these tortoises, especially since I'm tortoise-sitting them, so wouldn't want anything bad to happen to them. So now we replaced it with these beautiful, beautiful simulations of water that are marbles. They're not going to chew off of those, so we should be good to go. Apart from that, Look at this. We got all natural plants. Make sure they're natural. Don't want them choking or getting impacted from eating anything that's not natural. And they're just relaxing. Guys, what I'm going to do right now is to get them awake. Make sure they're good to go. Make sure they're well hydrated. I'm going to do a tortoise soak. And then after that, we have a competition going on. You guys ready for this? Let's get it. So now I'm going to go prepare the spa. And it looks like this fella wants to go back inside his house. All right. So here in Tortoise Island... Tortoise Paradise has so much to offer your tortoise and have all their needs. Guys, right here, the tortoises are enjoying a nice spa. Nice spa treatment, getting some nice water. They're soaking, guys, because they may be dehydrated and they need to no longer be dehydrated. So as you guys can see, they're out here just, just enjoying their lives, soaking up that water, drinking some of that water, probably pooping and pissing in some of that water. Yes, that's right. Only here in Tortoise Paradise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but seriously guys, in Tortoise Paradise what I ended up doing was I ended up getting some warm water, some warm fresh water, putting that water about halfway up their shelf to make sure they don't drown, and they're just moving around, enjoying it, soaking it up, getting ready for the next adventure. So I'm going to leave these tortoises here for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes, let them soak, and they should be good to go. Look at him enjoying Tortoise Paradise. Tortoise paradise, where your tortoises will live long and be happy, and not eat any rocks. Yeah, yeah, tortoise paradise. Alright, my Walden people, it's been about 15 minutes. These tortoises are nice and soaked, and now it's ready to put them on dry land. Ooh, there you go. Look how active that fella is. Ooh, ooh, there you go. Now they'll just sunbathe a little bit, and then they'll go to the next activity. Ooh, look at them moving. Yeah, they're like brand new tortoises. Look how happy they are. Moving all around. Hydrated, looking good, shell looking clean. Yeah, yeah. All right, Bassy does look hungry. Let's see if we eat it. Oh, my God. Okay, slipped out of my hand, but went right into his mouth. All right, my Walden people. So these are the materials I have to work with. So watch me work with them. All right, guys. So what I have to do now is I pretty much have to use these to make a finish line. Apart from that, I'm also going to use this right here to separate the lanes. I use these right here because they are numbers. I'll number one tortoise number one. I'll notice another tortoise number two. And then, hey, the race will begin. So guys, watch me as I pretty much set this up. Gonna cut it up. I'm almost done, guys. Almost done. All right, this is what we have so far. This is gonna be the, the finish. I'll probably write that. 
All right, here we go. This is the finish line right over here, guys. All right, guys, so right here on the finish side, it's pretty much done. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the start side and we can get this race started. Little holes, making this look nice, like an actual start line. All right, guys, so now my ghost side, or my start side is nice. Just gonna tape it up real quick. All right, guys, I'm gonna use these to separate the lanes. All right, guys, so our stage is set. Take a look at this beautiful, beautiful tortoise racing enclosure. All right, guys, so we have our two tortoises right here. Our two contestants. Contestant number one. Oh, contestant number two, cheating, cheating. And contestant number two. Woo wee. Guys, so now I have number one, contestant number one, and I have contestant number two. Guys, the object of this is for these tortoises to pretty much make it to the finish line. Who is gonna finish first? Is it gonna be contestant number one? Or contestant number two. Guys, what I have right here are some collard greens. I'll put some collard greens, little pieces of collard greens to help motivate them to get to the finish line. But we'll see who wins. All right, relax, relax, relax. Number two is ready. Okay. All right, he seems like he's, he's trying to leave. Da -da -da. All right, guys, this could take a while because these are tortoises. And remember, slow and steady wins the race. And the race has begun. Look at number one. We're rooting for number one. Go number one. Go number one. All right, what about number two? He's not focused. He's, his head isn't in the game. We'll help him out. Come on. Come on. All right, guys, we may be here all night. All right, guys, so far, number one and two are neck and neck. Neck and neck. Number two has decided to drop out of the race. Wait, number two has decided to go back and fight hard. Number one is still sleeping. All right guys, so so far number one and number two are neck and neck. Who will win? Okay. Number two is taking some more steps. Number two is surpassing number one. Come on, number two. He's inching his way. Look at number two go. Meanwhile, number one fell asleep. Come on, number two. Number two is running. He's in the to win it. Number one, not, I don't know if he's falling asleep, but he's just not in the game. But number two, come on, number two. All right, number two, look at him go. Look at the gap between number one and number two. Number two is not playing any games. Keep it going, number two. Meanwhile, number one, what's going on, buddy? What's wrong? Hey, look at number two. Taking big strides. Go number two. Go number two. Go number two. Okay. Number two has almost made it to the end. Okay. What's going to happen? Come on, number two. Come on, number two. Leaving number one in the dust. Oh, keep going, number two. Keep going. That's right, number two. That's right. You're almost there. You're almost there. Don't give up. Oh, number one, look who decided to wake up. It's number one. Okay, number one. You got this. You got this, number one. Hey, look at number two all the way at the end. Come on, number one. Come on, number two. Guys, I think it's safe to say that number two won this. Oh, number one's not giving up, guys. This is intense. Look at number one. Da da da. Da da. Oh, oh, number two is, oh, is number two is not playing games. Listen, what is in the mind of this champion over here? Yeah, I just, I want to go back to paradise. I need to get the heck out of here. Finally got us out here running around for no reason. Okay, thanks, number two. What about you, number one? Yeah, yeah. Number one is going back home. <laughs> he decided to drop out of this race early. Meanwhile, number two, 
He's inching his way. Inching his way. Guys, it's almost nighttime. We've been out here for hours. But number two is persistent. He wants to be the winner. Guys, just a few more steps. And number two has won it. Guys, you are here witnessing greatness. I may just have to speed all this up because it's very slow. Come on, number two. Just a few more inches. Let's check up on number one. Yo, you good, number one? Okay. Oh, guys, we're about to. He's about to. He is about to do it. He did it. Number two, guys. This here for number two, who finally, finally crossed the finish line. How's it feel, champion? Subscribe. Oh, he's still going. He has more left in him. All right, that's my boy. Wait, well, what is this? Number two is trying to show off. He's trying to be a showboat and go back to the start line and just make number one just look really, really bad. All right, my Walden people. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed the updates as to how these beautiful tortoises are doing in Tortoise Island. Right now, they're in training ground, so we saw number two do amazing. Number one, he still needs a lot more training, guys. But until next time, stay wildin'. Hey, hey you viewer, before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'. Alright guys, number two, he's just a champion. He's just showing off, he's just doing all types of things. He's not even afraid. He, he finished the race, but he wants to rub it into number one's face. He wants to rub it in number one's face that he's the champion. Oh, <laughs> looks like number one woke up. Number one, the race is over. I don't know what you're doing. Number two is about to spank that booty.